Well, hello everybody, what's up? So uh, yeah, we're sitting inside of a Cadillac DTS for 2011. You know, I tell you, this thing rides like a lazy boy chair going down the road. I mean, it's just so comfortable riding in a Cadillac. It really, dang, I'm looking in the rear view mirror. I mean, all the cars are still back there. I mean, that V8, that North Star, I tell you, it'll get up and go, it really will. I mean, this is a very powerful motor. But what I like about it is it's not so powerful that it makes it feel like it's some type of V8 muscle car, right? It's more of like the North Star, like we're heading to the North Star, you know, up in the sky. You know, if we were just on the space shuttle, just traveling in space, just smooth sailing. That's what it's about in this Cadillac DTS. So anyway, stay with me. We're gonna cruise it down the road, see what it's all about. I had a guy call me just a minute ago from, he said, the Mardi Gras state. He said he was in Louisiana and uh, he was so interested in this vehicle. So anyways, long story short, I didn't sell it to him just right away, but he was watching the video about it and he really said, he said, I really would like to have a Cadillac DTS. So maybe we'll get an opportunity to sell it to him. So I figured why not drive it down the road and let somebody see from all the way out there in Louisiana, what this Cadillac is all about. So here we go. <laughs> all right, we're gonna test out these brakes real quick. Look how fast we going. Suspension, brakes, whoa, man, this thing handles. All right, so it passed the test as far as hitting brakes and uh, turning corners kind of quick. Let's see how the acceleration test works in just a moment. The other thing is, is it passes the test on the dash with no check engine lights, no, you know, no funky little lights on up there that make me wonder if this vehicle's gonna do a good job for me or not. Hold on, we got a light on up here. That's kind of weird. Anyways, cut that off. But let's go ahead and crack this window and see what the North Star V8 sounds like when we go flying up this bridge here. All right, so hang on a minute. I'm just doing this because I think some of y'all need to need to know. All right, three, two, one, action. Doing pretty good, you know? It does pretty good. It's riding. We got careful though, I tell you, come up the top bridge there, there's a law officer coming down the bridge well that, you know that makes sense because north charleston county uh north charleston city hall is right over here but anyways acceleration test did great it really drives quite nicely i mean that's what it's all about behind the wheel of a cadillac dts another thing that i like to pay attention to is when hitting the brakes do we have any rotor issues you know if that steering wheel starts doing one of these numbers like this when you hit the brakes, especially when you're going a little bit faster, um, that's going to let you know that you're going to need to probably get the rotors churned or replaced. So uh, don't have that issue so much. Let's keep driving. Whoop, widescreen mode. Now, I like that it's got the, the good looking navigation system right there, letting us know that we're getting close to the airport. It even shows an airplane flying over, if you can see that. Look at that. Isn't that not cool as can be? So that's kind of neat. And uh, what else? So we got leather interior. We got a sunroof up top. So it's got most of the options that you want. Believe it or not, it even has heated and cooled seats, which, you know, back in 2011, if you got heated and cooled seats, I mean, that says something, you know, you're moving up in the world. I mean, you got a real deal luxury car. So that's good stuff. You also notice on those uh, on those mirrors over there, it's got those blinkers that light up when you're trying to get over. That's kind of cool. Even has a real fancy schmancy clock in here. Another nice option. Acceleration is really good though. I mean, it's really good. It, it definitely will get you up and out of harm's way if you're in one of those, you know, situations where you got to get up and go. So. Hold on, what in the world are we doing here, man? Let's get back in the lane here. 
we got to figure out where we're going today, right? We're actually going to pick up lunch. You know, I always seize the moment, y'all. If y'all watching on YouTube, you know, I'm always seizing the moment. That means for me, if I'm in any car going to pick up lunch or whatever the case may be, I will do my best to get some footage while driving down the road. You never know who's watching, y'all. So anyways, let's keep rolling. All right, somebody said we're going to try to eat healthy today. So we're going to this place called Poke Bros. So that's where we're going. It's supposedly some type of Hawaiian, uh, some kind of Hawaiian food, treasure hut. Big Belly's Burger Joint is absolutely yummy, y'all. La Hacienda. But there's Poke Bros. We're going to try that out today. So I'm getting me a Poke Bowl. Basically, it's supposed to be really good. So... Stay with me on that. Let's see how easy it is to park a Cadillac DTS. That's also another important thing. Well, right now, the churning radius is not looking too good, right? Still got the shifter down on the floor. You know, most Cadillacs seem like they got them on the column. But anyways, there's another Cadillac right over there. That's a, that's a Cadillac Escalade. That thing's just a bunch of shininess, you know? Anyways, you get these power windows. That's quite nice. Let's go ahead and hop in and see what Poke Brothers is all about. Thank you. You too. Ooh, that looks good. That looks good. All right. All right. Well, we got, we got some... Some food for Southern Motor. There's the Cadillac looking pretty, right? You got to drive them sometimes, folks, to make sure everything works out well on them. So that's why we drive them. Pretty wheels, pretty body, you know? It's just a nice, clean Cadillac, you know? Nothing more, nothing less. You know, a lot of people seem to have, you know, their complaints about these uh, Cadillacs because of the North Star engines. But uh, believe it or not, you know, any engine can have a little problem here or there. It's really on how well you take care of it. But uh, I love how the Cadillac emblem on this one is just in really nice shape. And uh, it's got a big trunk in it. But it's just a clean vehicle. And uh, it's going to probably last whoever buys it for quite a while. I mean, th this is just one of those vehicles that's going to last a long, long time. You know? And uh, in the interior, look how clean the seats are. I love the silver with the black. It's just the perfect color combination. All right, thanks for watching the video. I'm not gonna hold you up anymore today. If you just watch one video a day from me right here on YouTube, I think you'll, your life will probably be just a little bit better, especially if you're out there um, considering buying a, buying a pre-owned car, you know? And uh, you know, technically right now in the world we live in, pre-owned cars is kind of, the, kind of what people are having to buy because there's just not a whole lot of new cars out there. I mean, there's new cars out there, but there's just not as much of them as there used to be uh, due to those microchip shortages. But there is a plant being built in the United States, you know, because the, the plant that used to build all those microchips used to be outside the country. And as many of y'all probably know, if you did a little research there, that that plant actually burned down. It had a fire and it burned down. And uh, when it burned down, it messed up a lot of things because about 80% of those uh, of those microchips in the entire world were built at that place. And uh, with that being said, that you know that's just not a good thing, you know, to to build 80% of something that's used throughout the entire world in one place. And uh, so, anyways, they're building a new place. I'm trying to remember where it's at. Is it in Arizona? It's somewhere. But anyways, it's going to be in the good old United States of America, which I think is a pretty positive thing. But with that being said, until this place is built, it's not going to be, you know, 100% out there with new cars again. And uh, so anyways, while all this is going on, the used car market is going to be booming for you buying and selling used cars for me for everybody if you got a used car the insurance companies if you get in an accident they're definitely paying people a lot more money for their for their used cars and uh and if you're out there trying to sell or trade in your car you know you're gonna do a lot better as well because again everybody needs used cars 
And a lot of those websites out there that um, that do the values of used cars, they've seen what's going on and they're they're putting the values of the used cars up there higher. So anyways, don't overpay for a car. Don't underpay for a car because something could be wrong with it. It's never too good to be true. But get a car and make sure it's the right one for you. Maybe this Cadillac's one you're looking at. I don't know. But have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see all of you real soon.